In this tutorial, I will show you how to paint two colorful elephants. I will begin by sketching the baby elephant first on the left hand side and then the mama elephant. For this, I'm using a small brush loaded with a light blue. With black, I am re-contouring the eye. I'm placing the skin folds around the eye. And later on, I will fill each one with color. All those details that I'm about to place now are references that will guide me later on to determine where is the shadow and where is the light. It's similar with the frame of a house. We don't see it because it's covered with stucco. But without the frame, the house will not stand. I am placing details on the trunk, drawing a few lines, with the blue, I am establishing the shadow area around the eyes, on the trunk, under the ears, and under the tusks. Few more accents on the body, on the ears, and alongside the contour. With orange, I am coloring the eye. And with the same color, I will place fewer strokes around the eye and the ears. While it's still wet, I'm filling the entire surface with blue, blending the two colors and vibrating it with black and white. This step, it's the under layer, so most of it will be covered with color later on. Only a small part of it will be seen, so I will not put too many details at this time, because this is just for support for my future painting. A new artist will be tempted to skip this step altogether. Why? Because it's easy to believe that it's an unnecessary step when you will cover up what you just painted. The value for doing this is that the base color affects the layer on top. The color that I will use later will take on a blue tint and this will unify the composition. I am alternating light blue, dark blue, and purple. I will place highlights and shadows around the eyes. And uh, afterwards, I will do the same thing for the baby elephant. With the blue, I'm adding more accents. This will enhance the creases around the eye and I will place a big accent around the face. I'll show you two different methods to paint a colorful elephant. One way to do it is to paint squares all over using different colors and layering it until the entire surface is covered. There is no rule, just apply even squares. The second method is to apply irregular shapes. The distinction is that by working in patches, we avoid equality 
color follows the face structure. It goes around the eyes, the forehead, the trunk. Now I am applying darker colors and lighter colors and you can see how that follows the shape of the face. I'm adding more colors on top. Now I'm using just the red. And uh, afterwards I will put brown accents, not too many. With a uh, small brush, I'm going to do little enhancements. With the knife, I am applying light highlights and here I will let spontaneity be my inspiration and guide. I understand it can be easier to overthink than to be spontaneous, but the more you do it, you will become more confident and it becomes easier and easier. I um, am defining everything with black. This will enhance the elephant feature, creating a beautiful contrast. I will uh, add a little blue and white. And of course, I will add more touch-ups later on. Elephant trunks have multiple functions. That includes breathing, smelling, touching, grasping, and sound production. They even collect food. They wrestle with other elephants and they can lift up to 350 kilograms. That is 770 uh, pounds. I would like to move to the mama elephant and um, I will repeat the same patch method. The only thing is that I am applying the color first with the knife, alternating with the brush. I am applying pink around the eyes, the trunk and on the rest of the body. Elephants use tusks for multiple purposes. They use to dig for water, they use to dig for roots, they're even scratching the trees and they move the trees on the branches when they're cleaning the path. They also use it when they're fighting and they use to attack and to defend themselves and to protect the trunk. When it comes to the way that elephants communicate, they're using a lot their trunks. And touching is an important part of communication among elephants. My background will be black. And by adding bright color, such as yellow and white, they will create more contrast and the elephants will stand out. Using the big brush, I'm adding white accents on the tusks. I'm not using simple white. I uh, added yellow on the white to make it a little softer. And um, I'm using the same color along the contour. I will add blue around the eyes. I'm using the same color for the baby elephant and a little blue on top of the heads. Now with a small brush, I'm adding yellow on the contour and around the eye. I'm enhancing the other yellow that I placed before. With a small brush, I am applying a black contour. I'm paying attention on the edges. 
And here, the brush gives me an advantage, as I can go in between small places without effort. Here, I rethink the shape, and if I don't like something, I simply cover it with paint. A fun fact that I read, and I want to share this with you, the elephants use mud as a sunscreen, as their skin is very sensitive. I am continuing with the black background. I am finishing up the top part and I'm drawing a thin line in between the two elephants just to create a little bit of separation and in order to enhance the eyes I will do a wide contour around and also I am going to put black underneath I'm finishing up everything with black I'll put a little later a few more color accents right here yeah that looks better and uh, I am uh, putting a few accents with white these are my two elephants please subscribe Give this video a thumbs up, let me know in the comments what you would like to see me paint and don't forget to visit my website at mgartgallery.com. Thanks for watching, bye bye!